What's up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Um, it's been a while since the last episode. And by a while I mean like 3 years, give or take a few months. Yeah, so I, I actually don't even remember what the hell I was planning for this playthrough. Or walkthrough rather. But I've rewatched all of my videos. And I think I have a general idea, although I don't really know what the fuck I was thinking. Uh, there are there are much better strategies, but hey, it's a brave blade run, so that's interesting in and of itself. You hardly get to see a brave blade run. And what else? So yeah, here's my job setups right now. Uh, Butts and Ferris are going to be ninjas until they master. Uh, Lena and Gulf are working on Summoner, Time Mage, White Mage and Bard in a rotation. So right now I have Lena on a sum on Summoner. I think I'm going to keep her Summoner until she gets Summon level 5. <coughs> and Gulf is a Bard, I will change him. Once he finishes up with Bard, then I think I'll change him to Summoner and then Lena back to Bard. Uh, yeah, I think Gulf will hit Bard Mastery well before Lena reaches summon level 5. That's fine. We'll just change them. Alright, so that's the setup. Um, I ma I've, I've made it out of the forest there, uh, on the uh, here next to the submarine. And our next destination is going to be the town of Mua. Or Moor as it's canonically called. Where is it on the map? Yeah, slightly to the southwest. So let's scoot. Just got to enter this inlet and surface. There is a town. First things first, let's hit the pop. Actually no, I've not been uh, doing the music side quest. Piano side quest rather. Anyway, a couple very important spells to pick up here. Do I want all this? I might as well. What money? Yeah, this is important. Haste 2. Might as well pick up slow 2. Reset. Reset might come in handy sometimes. And black magic, we want to pick up for the Mystic Knight. Already have it, okay. We can pick up a free Guardian Dagger here. Mangosh. Mangosh is primarily just going to be equipped by the Majors if they can't use a heal stuff. And what can we buy? What armor and uh, weapons can we buy? We'll pick up two Tiger Masks. Do you want a Magus hat? You know what? Just one Magus hat. One of them has the golden hairpin, remember? Couple diamond plates. Lumina. Yeah, might as well. Two Lumina. And I think we have just enough money for... Oh shit. I wanted uh, four diamonds, but I guess that's not happening. On second thoughts, uh, Butts and Ferris do have the Elf Cape, so we do only need two diamond uh, things. And we can just sell off all the other stuff.
Because suddenly I don't have any money. Cut off the train blade, we're never gonna use it. Don't think I'm gonna use a thunder blade either, but always keep two swords in hand. Yeah, just in case we need to use a mystic knight. Now we're gonna use shields. And helmet is just uh, a waste of time right now. Keep hold of the coronet, absolutely. Where are my silver rings? There we go. Okay, so I made back about 1400 bucks. Don't think we can buy any weapons, but that's not super important. If there are even any weapons worth buying here. Oh, there are actually! Can I buy two of them? I can buy exactly two of them. Air lance. Air lance are very powerful. I'll give one each. Actually, no. This guy has a dancing dagger. And who knows uh, when the dancing dagger will let me down. So I'll give both the air lances to Ferris. And uh, what can we sell? Can we sell all the mage mashers? I think. Well, looks like I, I got another thousand bucks. We could definitely sell the Oricalcums. They don't have any special properties. Cancel the dragon fangs though, they sell for quite a quite a bunch. I think that's it. So I can buy a couple more air lances? I can buy a couple more air lances, thank you very much. Keep hold of the dancing dagger anyway. It's uh secondary properties can be useful. Alright, so with that, now that we're all fitted out, let's go take on the Moor Forest. So as always, strategy for most of the encounters is just gonna be... Attack with the ninjas, and... You guys have a lot of evasion, but uh, not that much. Uh, or not that much HP. Gajra Gajri. So these guys, I think they are immune. They are immune to the stop status. So just use the charm song in them. It might not work every time, but that's your best bet. So yeah, what I was saying is that basically. Most of the encounters, just use the love song, it will work uh, very well. There are some enemies which will not respond to the love song. So just use charm song on them, either way. Try to keep, always keep your ninjas healed up, they are in the front row. No matter how little damage they've taken. Should have uh, plenty of. Okay, so there are mini mages in the back row. Try to avoid using the charm song on the mini mages. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh wait, I don't have the love song. Oh well. Yeah, so if you use the charm song, they're gonna, they're gonna use uh, reset. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. We're just gonna have to suck it up. Can't really use Requiem, so I guess uh, we'll go with some Summon. We just have the Golden Hairpin on uh, Lena. Sh 
should have decent amount of MP to get through this dungeon. It's a rather confusing place. Oh my god, this is a horrible encounter. But fortunately, yes, the mammons hit really, really hard. But uh, you should be reliably able to use the love song on them. How the hell do I not have love song? Try and attack the mini mage first. I mean, if you had the love song, you wouldn't be facing this difficulty, but oh well. What the? What a troll! Look at the amount of damage we're doing. Oh my god, imps are quite possibly the most dangerous encounters here. They have a lot of magic defense. Use charms on them, I'm, I don't think they are uh, susceptible to the love song at all. Use the charms on them, hopefully... Yeah, they're, they're going to use charm on you. So this is not great. Let me see if I can snap Lena out. have a lot of evasion but if you if you manage to oh crap but if you manage to confuse them which won't really work every time that's your best bet just take it as slow and steady they also have a decent amount of HP unfortunately look at that 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 guy's still not dead There's a treasure chest, yeah. What time encounter it? I'm running to such large groups. Titan is. I'm just spamming Titan. It's working really well. Well, at least everybody's get, getting a lot of experience. And I can't believe how how well Charm Song is working. Uh, we should have a save point here. <laughs> One of those guys preserved my ninja and said ninja decided to just wreck everything in sight. Looks like this was not the save point. Maybe the next? Yeah, I think it's on the next screen. I'm getting my floors of this dungeon confused. Okay, so I think from this point we can meet another new enemy. He looks like uh, the Vivon. That guy can use Breathwing. And I think, once again, using Charm Song is probably uh, the best strategy. So, a treasure chest here. Only a giant drink. There's a save point that I was thinking of. Might as well use a tent. Thanks to the bar, we're just getting through this without taking any damage whatsoever. Now to the left, there is an elixir. Yeah, this is what I said. Oh, he's literally called... Well... Again, 
don't think he can be... Oh wow, he's very fast. Well, so much for not taking damage, eh? That's fine. He has got plenty of MP for healing. I'll just wait for him to hit himself. So that his ATP resets. There we go. Couple tons. Doesn't give, even give a lot of ABP. But that guy can use Breathwing. And Breathwing damages everyone, so it starts to get pretty damn annoying. Alright, Fire Touch Chest. Seriously, I cannot believe how well uh, Tom Song is working. You know how I said the worm uses Breathwing? Turns out when he's confused, he uses Breathwing on himself. Thank you very much. Anyway, time for the forest to get destroyed. Alright, think we just gotta wait right now? Might as well just take a quick look at our ABP. Golov is well on his way to Bard Mastery. Lena's already up to almost up to Summoner 3. Holy shit, that's how much ABP we've been getting. And look at the cash as well, already up to 50,000 bucks. Hello? There we go. There's a treasure chest slightly to the north. We do not want to pick it up. At least not right now. Alright, so we fall down and most helpfully there is a spring which is a free healing spot. Thank you, Moogles! Can we go? No. So uh, once again we have to wait. Hmm. Level 25, eh? Not bad. Oh come on, the fire has died out. Seriously? How much time is it going to take? What does he have to say? Well, what did I expect more than Kupo? There we go. Alright, now definitely want to pick up this chest. It's got the super useful. Oh crap! Uh, well. Okay, so I made a huge mistake here. I wanted to pick up uh, the Aegis Shield, so... Should have picked it up uh, before following the Moogle downstairs. Anyway, it's not gonna matter to us because uh, we are never gonna be using your shield anyway. Plus, it might be benefiting me here because... Uh, the Flame Shield sells for a lot. So I might as well make some money out of making a mistake. Alright, so that was that dungeon. Uh, of course, not entirely done, but that's gonna be it for today. Next time, we'll be taking on the Sealed Guardians and proceeding forwards. Take it easy, guys.